Okay, I'm halfway through it right now. I've managed to spill crap all over the floor. Um, word about the ethylene glycol, the grain stuff. Um, it tastes real good to animals, so uh, clean up whatever you got. Wash your hands real good because it's uh, known to kill pets and even people if uh, you're not careful. So, I got this big slinky off. It was kind of a pain in the butt to do, and the little ones. I've given up on a few, well, just one. I don't know if you can see it. There's that one little guy. There he is, right above the oil filter. He was such a pain, I'm gonna leave him there because I'll never be able to get it off. But to get the uh, big slinky off, off this one, I had to pry it up a little bit with the screwdriver and squirt the breakaway. Once the breakaway got in there, it's a whole lot easier. Also, be careful tugging on the bike. If it's on a wobbly stand or even a good stand, it can fall, crush you, and kill you. So you don't want to tug too hard. Now the real pain in the butt getting back on, you have a 919. It's going to be the one, oop, there it is, with that 90 degree bend right there. That's going to go on this side. And it goes right in there where it hits the air box. See it? Right there. So I've got literally just an inch to work with. And that's going to be very interesting to try to get back on. So I'm quitting right now because I'm cold and pissed off tugging on this stupid bike. So next I will put the tin on and then slap the hoses back on.